We're going to paint the blue nose too today. The sailing vessels from, from uh, Ludenberg, Nova Scotia. Stay tuned, let's get going. Welcome to the studio. Today we're going to paint the blue nose too. Uh, seen from Nova Scotia, from Lunenburg, and uh, we're going to get right into it. A little bit more of a preliminary drawing than is really needed on this painting here. But it was such a fun drawing that I just kept drawing. And let's go. We're just going to paint these the green of these trees in here first. Nice and thick pigment. Lots of moisture. And at first I drew all these windows behind here, but then I do, I'm just going to paint right over them. Just like what it shows on the photograph there. And I'll take, the, I'll take this down right to the roof here. Important you cut, across, cut around uh, these masts. And the reason being, you know, it would be difficult to get the green out of it afterwards and they've got a really neat color to them so um, and then over here on the other side of the mast you also have some green so I'm just going to change brushes here make it a little bit easier just picking up some pigment here and a little bit easier to do this here now I'm going to see how far down I want to take this right to this roof line I guess down here and yeah, right about here. I'm going to cut around this first. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm just checking out the photo here for a second. Paint this in here like that. And there's some leaves that come out here. Again, important to cut around this mast here. Normally I'd be over on that side there, but I'll be in your way, so I'm here. Painting from this side, and I'll just cut around here like that. And I'll do that all the way up here. Make sure I get a straight line. Now you can use, I'm using a pointed uh, brush here, but you can also use it, you know, a square brush, which may make things easier. Now we'll just make our tree sticking out here a little bit like this. Yeah, at the bottom it just kind of goes right into this area into here. So I'm going to cut around the second mast and make it like the trees disappear into the next part. And there. And while that's still wet over here, I'm just going to drop in a little bit more water. A little bit more green, just a different shade of green. This is a little bit of a, the green gold color here. And we're going to try to get that effect like you see in the photo over there a little bit. And just let that granulate. And I kind of like that light area there. But I'm just going to go into it right here, just like that. And make some more leaves and things. And I'll take that right, maybe right down to about there. A little bit. We'll leave these highlights the way they are. Now the other thing you can do here is, you know, you can drop some, some salt or some different things in there, some, you know, to create texture. And I think I've got some more greens over here between, there's the building. And, figure out where it was here and yeah, I'm going to go quite dark in this little area into here and cut around this roof line business here. Now I'm going to watch to see how quickly that dries over here. Yeah, we'll just paint in here right up to about there. There's a bunch of things here. The horizon's not here like the road goes here so just but there's a bunch of things in there and I have no idea what they are. I think they're blue dumpsters, to be honest with you. Some of them. <laughs> I don't know, they might be ropes, and maybe lobster trap ropes or something. I don't know. Hard to tell. Anyways, we'll just paint this green in here and uh, do the same thing there. Throw a little bit of extra color in there like that. Make sure, we'll just watch that, make sure that doesn't run any further than what 
I planned on there and it's really not very important that there's a lot of detail. Remember this is the background anyway so I'm just going to paint a little bit of darks in here and the same with there. Yeah I'm hoping that runs down a little bit more right to that line right there by itself. Yeah I'll take it right over to here again. Drop a few darks in there, make it look like trees a little bit more. Take that right down into there, let that paint run together. Yeah, I don't want it to end there, so I'm just going to do that just like that there. All right, so that's that, and I will. I've got some some uh, kosher salt here. I'm just going to drop some in here, and that'll just give us some added texture in these areas back here. It's, it's especially important here, I think. And then the next thing we're going to do is work on these buildings once this is dry, because I don't want any of that green running into that next section there. So looking good. Okay, so we're gonna get right into painting these buildings in the background here. And they are, they're pretty dark, you know, in contrast with the rest of this here. So I did pull out the flat brush here and that's gonna help us get some square edges here. These lines and just like that, we've got lots of color going on here. So I'm gonna take this down here and just cutting around the edge of the white molding on this building like that there and cut around these windows as well I made a mess of that we'll just cut around a little higher there just like that I got lots of pigment mixed here so I'm just gonna use that like that and into here I'll just run this into the green here just like this Blending in there. I did pick up some salt on the brush here, which is fine. Doesn't hurt nothing, not anything. You just gotta get rid of it afterwards here. Knock it off the brush. Knock it off, brush. There you go. I'm not talking about the color too much here, because you can I'm sure you can by now mix some colors that you like and the fact that this is straight from my palette some leftover colors from another painting so I don't not really sure what color it is I couldn't guess except for quinacridone burnt orange is uh, one of the, the, the base color that I'm using here like that and I'm going to cut across here carefully and see if I can't cut around this here there, there, and there, down here. I'm going to do this section right here a bit ahead of time, just run it down. There's a lot you can do with these flat brushes. You can use them on their edge and use the corner. You can And I really want to keep this painting from getting too tight in this background here too. This is drying very quickly here. It's pretty warm in the studio today. It's been really hot outside. I haven't even been able to get out and do any clean air lately. It's just, it just gets too hot. Maybe 37 Celsius, 35 Celsius every day. But it's always nice to paint in the studio anyway, so here we are. I'm just cutting around these. This is drawing super quick. And what you can do is also, you know, you got the road right there and then some gray kind of color for the road. Cut around there like that. And to keep this from getting too tight, I didn't want that 
spot right there like that. Cut across like that there. Clean that off the brush. It's just kind of a color of gray here, so I'm just going to run that across and turn this more into gray. I'm going to add some water into here. And there's a little gray in this building here. Gray in this parking lot. Road colored right up to the mystery stuff back into here. Just got some neutral gray on here. I want to make sure it's thin enough that it's not going to be too dark. I cut around that a little bit. I'm going to run that right up into there. Yeah, just with clean water back into the home. Let that all blend together there. And with these windows here, I'm going to splatter some water on here. It's just looking a little tight. And I can, I can drop some fresh pigment here from the top as well and just let that run down with my table at an angle here. And with the water on there, it's going to make kind of a nice effect. And not be too tight there. Now this is a, I think that's a, that's a door that I just painted kind of over there, so we can make another window, I guess. But the road goes right up to here, actually, so I'm going to see if I can clean that up a little bit like that. Like that there, and we can make it just kind of a grayish road. I think it'll look better if we do that there. I'm just going to go along the bottom of this building here, a little bit too wet because that's going to also bleed up into that building there. But there, and I can work on that a little bit later. I can put a little kind of a dark spot. I can put some, you know, drop in a little bit of this titanium white here. And also work it into this area here. A little bit too green there. And with that, I can just run that, just smooth that out a little bit here. Just like that. And with this gray. This building here is just kind of a, know, all sorts of different colors going on if you really look at it. So still working with the flat brush here like that. I can come right into there. And this building. Work on it and drag some different colors into it. I see some turquoise. I see just all kinds of color in this building here. And I agree. This is too much pigment on the brush there. I can tell by the shape of it. And that'll give you interest later, this cobalt turquoise kind of color there. And then we got some nice darks into here that's going to make all of this pop here. I'm just going to cut around the mast, or not the mast, the uh, front of the boat there. Like that there, and I'm also going to come into this area here and paint this little, just a tiny little spot right there. The rest of it will be water, I think. So, and then the salt that's on here, you just leave it till it dries and knock it off with a palette knife or something later on. All right, now we want to go really quite dark down in these areas here, but I want to change the tone of that a little bit. Right here, these little, some rusty bits into here, into there like that, 
and I'm going to continue that on into here a little bit just to tie things together. It's looking good. So this here, I'm just going to add some clean water. I just saw that pooling there and just to blend that in a little bit and this I'm going to let that run down. I expected that to run all the way down on its own but it didn't so you got to help it out. There. Much better. And that we're just going to let that kind of paint itself. There's a building over here that we can do in that same kind of color. She can get a little bit more red into it. Yeah, I'll paint this in. That's pretty careful detail for a first kind of wash over here, but with buildings you kind of need to do that. In the, if you're going to do this style of painting too, there's a lot of ways you can paint these. And cut around these mast rings. And flatten that brush a little bit. It's just a little bit too wet. And there. Just like that. In this area here, and again around these rings into here, like that. So a little bit brighter, a little bit clearer here in this area, just like that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that white right there, quite like that. And paint this roof, this gray kind of color, shingle roof and come right down here leaving the edge white have to do with this brush is quite large I just cut across no rings there so we just do that put a little so I just dab that just to get that Cut in and cleaning up the edge a little bit, just like that. There. And it's gonna, it really doesn't need to be, it's just the roof shingles of that building right there. But when it's dry, you can give it some variations, but it's not about it, so you might just leave it. Or you can just put some water on it. Just clean water and it'll give it a little variation here and really it's just going to disappear to these trees. In fact you can you can drop some more greens into this up above if you want but I'm not going to do that so I was going to but I decided I wanted more of a kind of blurred edge right here and just where it blends into that roof and forget about it. That's it. So, and then down here, this is quite dark, but that's okay for the first wash. I'm going to leave it that, and then we can uh, darken the photo, I mean, and it's not that dark in the painting quite yet, but we can leave it like that for now, and then go ahead, and we're going to paint the water next. All right, so the water's next here, and it's kind of a dull day when I took this photo here, and you can see the sun shining through, but it's a little bit, just brightening up the white on the, on the ship. But I'm going to brighten this up with some cobalt blue. Just take that right across like that. And I'm going to be careful around the ship here. Just to cut around it. Take that there. And uh, I'm not going to... This is just... I'm just going to make this into the wharf. Because it is the wharf that comes across. There's actually another boat right there. And I want that more wet as I drag this down here like that. Now quite dark here but I don't want this water to interfere with the hue of this hull so I'm going to make sure that's wet and right away I can see it's kind of some simulated cloud reflections into there but I want to I do want to darken that water 
Now as we go down here to this area, so I'm going to go ahead and just change the tone of it. Drop some other darker color into here. A bit darker. This is again, this is a mix that I've got in the palette. I'm going to paint that down here like this. Run that in. And I've got some cobalt teal blue because I can see it up into here, some bands of it. Out there. And man, this is really drying quick here. So my cobalt teal blue, I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in before it's too dry into here. And uh, too much pigment on the brush. And another band of it kind of right here. And this is really going to dissipate this color that I've got here. I quite like it. And maybe put a little bit, some hints of it into here somewhere, right about here maybe. Run that down that way. Like that. Lots of moisture on the brush. Run it right to where the hull is there, just like that. And this, where the hull is, I'm just going to blend that. That way we don't end up with that hard edge into there. Just like that there. And with this, I'm just going to make that run right off the page. And with these little spots here, we can kind of go over the... And you can leave these little sparkles in here. Just little reflections and things like that that happen and I'll just leave it. So that's a good first wash and, and I can see the greens just blending in there nicely and I'll just kind of leave it. You know sometimes even you can paint like a reverse sky as if it's reflecting the sky from up above but in this case we're just making that when the water's got a little bit of a ripple all these little ripples pick up the reflection of the sky even though we got this in the background I didn't paint that reflection in and that's what you're seeing on the photo there is that kind of style that uh, surface reflecting the sky more than it is the the uh, background in there so and then this here I'm going to do something with that I haven't quite decided what to do with it yet but but I can put a you know a little bit of green into it like that just to make it a make it something pick up the green I put it in the boat and because there you know there's some weeds and grasses and things growing up into there. So I'm going to bring that right into these rings into here like that. I want that thick. So dry off my brush. Just hits of this green into there. Cut around there. Like that. I'll just make some grasses and things. Change the hue a little bit. Put a little bit of green into that. Just to tie everything in. And then back in here, there's some pilings. I like. I just saw them right here, just sticking up here. Yeah, so I'm going to put in some gray. Um, I'm going to put in some fairly thick gray, but I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm just going to... I'm just going to draw or paint hints of them right into there and let that bleed a little bit there, which is not the shape you want, but that being said, you can pick up pigment with a dry brush. And it's just going to give us the background illusion of those little pilings right there for now. And then once that dries, gets a little bit tighter, we can put darker darks and frame them into more uh, the right shape. Okay, so right away we're into this. Uh, there's a building back here that is yellow. So let's. I left it. So we could paint it later, just so it, the colors of these other buildings didn't interfere with it. No, it's kind of a I don't know mustard yellow. 
but we've got this handsome yellow light in the palette here and it looks like even the window frame is yellow so can go ahead and paint that in like that like that there and the soffit is kind of everything is yellow in this building it's a very colorful town the buildings are all different colors blues and reds and Cut into that right there, and that, like that. So that's kind of a, yeah, it kind of looks boring. In the color that I did it anyway, the building looks better. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna change out that yellow a little bit. And just warm it up slightly I can find a little spot on my palette here that's clean yeah I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right in like that and let that come down and I think that'll end up to be a neat color once it's once it mixes on the paper and dries and if not something you can go in and change later that's more the right tone actually when it uh, when this dries, it'll look a lot better. Pick up a little excess there. And then I could just paint the darks of the, the uh, building after. Now it's a little bit darker over here. This is still part of that building, I believe. So, but I'm just gonna put some darks in there just to frame it. Just like that. And same within here while well, I've got some Neutral gray on the brush. We'll do that. So I'm quite like what the water did over, liking what the water did over here. So that's good. And that's it. So we've almost got, you know, I'm going to leave these windows and the door here for last, I think. And because uh, they're fairly simple to do. And we'll start on the, uh, the sailing vessel, the Blue nose too. Now the next color I'm going to want to mix is the deck color in there. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to start with quinacridone gold, and then I'll mix up some color that looks like that. Okay, so I got this deck color mixed up, quinacridone gold, and whatever remnant of red that I had left in my palette there. I'm going to paint everything that I see that looks like that color. And this deck shows up under here like that. There's a little bit of it just showing through this rigging here. Paint that into there and all this deck. Hold up the brush some more of the side of this here. You can easily get lost in all these details. This deck has all kinds of things on it. I'm going to call them things. Who knows people? You can help me out with the names of them all. <laughs> but, but you couldn't possibly paint them all in. Well, you could, I guess, if you had uh, the perseverance to do it. And I just got to be, the most important thing here is being careful not to paint over something that's white or, you know, a different color that you're going to want later on. Even the darks, if you want to, you know, you could double up layers of colors, but you're not, you're going to end up with a different color than if you just kind of had one coat of the deck color here. That down into here. Need more water. I'm getting kind of dry on this brush here. Everything's dried quick, like I said before. And I'll go around that. Piling here like that, and this is all this color too. Go ahead and drop that in like that. And this is just kind of a background, uh, really a predominant color in this deck. Uh, 
And then here we've got up to those rings is that color too. So go ahead and drop that in there. And it's darker on the right, so we got some light coming from the right here. Quickly, this is coming to this is really starting to pop nicely. And then quite dark up here. So we'll go ahead and Drop that mass right to the rings. The rings are actually even uh, darker than this and I painted over there's a silver protective layer here around this mass that I painted over that I didn't want to paint over but I do want to paint all these little rings in here. Drop some color in there. And it's something that you can reinforce later too. You can darken later. And then right in there, I'm going to pick that up again. So I want that gray in there. And this one is, you know, it's more in the different color, it's more brown than the other one. So I'm going to paint that in, and that'll give us the contrast of. the building in the background here and these are brighter so I'm going to do that later those rings I mean just like that and just some neutral gray and red yeah I'm going to drop that in right here And on this side too. Looks like the sun is from behind us there and it's gonna show us that. And on this here, I'm just gonna drop some of this color to here. A little darker on these rings here. Just blend that with some got some thicker pigment on here. Not thicker pigment, I mean just a different color. I've got some red that I picked up on my palette here, and I see I've got I've just got too much pigment on that section there for it to do what I want to do. So you just get your paper towel out and just give it the indication that you want there, just like that. And down here it's kind of bright, brighter than up here on this kind of part there, but there's a little bit more red up there, so I'm going to drop in some, might just drop in some more red here, just change the tone of that a little bit, just like that there, and I come down just like that, there. So we're back into the deck, I'm kind of in here, but it's really dark at the front, so well, there's kind of a loudspeaker looking thing, correct? Looking thing, correct me if I'm wrong, with all these parts that are in here, but it's. And this is black. Like that, and that'll dry nicely but I do want to highlight on the top so I'm not gonna let I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna just dry brush over top of it and it might be able to do a little bit of it now just like that and it gives you the, a white highlight or lighter color of black just like that there so then just continue on painting all your deck parts here I painted a few off a of camera here off camera just to not make this video too too long with things that you can actually just paint in on your own and so I'm gonna do that there I'm gonna make this dark right into here I didn't paint it exactly like the photo there I just kind of improvised some little areas and this is really white so what I'm gonna do is just preserve a lot of this white except for 
I'm gonna get some little bit of gray, mix it with some blue, and go ahead and make some of these little shadows into here, into here, like that. Very, like I said, very difficult to paint everything that you see into here. But if you get the impression of it, that's the key, I think, here. So we're going to paint these parts like that there. I'm going to preserve that white. There's some hardware bits over here. Maybe a little quinacridone gold. Just to give it, you know, work on them. Paint your little detail in, and away you go. And it'll work. Now I've got some little turquoisey color. I'm just going to give it some interest here and a little water. Let that take care of itself just like that. And there, tie everything together into here like that. There. Just some little shadows. If you want a blue, put a little blue in there. Just the reflecting light. Change the tone of what's in there. And that's about it there. So the hall is going to be probably the next thing that we want to do here. Except I want to come across here and define that a little bit more there. Maybe even a little bit more than that while it's wet. Create these shadows and then tie that in here and a little bit darker along this gunnel area here. I'll leave that white little highlight in there. Now this is all pretty dark. There's some really dark red at the bottom of the hall here. It's also in shadow, so I'm just mixing up some neutral gray and some red that's already on my palette. And adding a little bit more red to it. And a little more red till I get it right here. Yeah, and that looks about right. So I'm going to come across here and cut into the whole shape right here like that. And go right. I'm going to do the water line first here because that'll be the most difficult part to do and get right. Push down on your brush and then let it, let it spread the bristles so till it's got the width that you want. It's a little bit too wide in there and that's white above it there so and it is a little bit brighter there so I'm going to come across here this is something you can fix with gouache later also when you put that white pinstripe in there but I can level it like that a little bit and this is kind of some some detail here like this some rusty little bits it looks like or something here And go ahead and take that in there. And this is quite dark. This gold line, I painted this uh, blue nose before. And the gold I just did with iridescent gold afterwards here. I'm just going to give a little bit of a background wash color right there, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in my neutral gray. Now this is dry here, so it's going to save me from that going any further. Uh, but we got, I'm going to start right here. This may look really strong here, but that's what it needs. And then I'm going to come across right here, just above that, where that white stripe is. And paint in here. I have a look at the drawing, or the photograph again just like that and a little bit more neutral gray in here not something you don't really you can't be afraid of it you just kind of have to do it but you have to be careful you just cut around the, these areas here where the white gunnel is and just leave that white in there just like that I'm going to go ahead and paint over that white piling here and then I'm going to pick it up And drop in some more pigment in here. And preserve that a little bit for that gold line right there. And 
And really, I'm going to go really dark in this area here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down a little bit more. Pick that up. Nice dark pigment in here. I'll cut around this post that I drew crooked in the preliminary drawing. But that's okay. We'll straighten it out now. That there and I want it to run on the other side here like that preserve our white gunnel area like that there and take that straight down make our post like that there now in this water line we're just gonna I think I'm gonna pre-wet this just ever so slightly here and I'm looking at that reflection that starts a little bit ahead here and it goes off like that and gets quite dark along this water line let's see if that's enough pigment doesn't look like it so I'm going to drop some more lightly here and just let that bleed down and you can just help it a little bit in spots just like that there now this is drying lighter now in this area here we get a nice soft brush and I want to pick up pigment to give us this highlight that we want. I'm sticking my hands all colored here already, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of this pigment and turn the brush over another dry spot and pick up some pigment. Pick up some pigment. Blend that. Blend that area in there. So that will give us our highlight. The other way you can do it is just with a damp brush. You can kind of work this area with that damp brush and you'll see it's kind of doing the same thing. But you've got to be careful you don't get any. The brush is not too wet, I'm trying to say. so. If your brush is too wet, the water just get in there and you get these big ugly blooms. And it'll just give it a little bit of definition in those spots there. Just like that. And that's looking all right there. I just want to diffuse this a little bit here. And you can do it with just clean water. And it'll look more like that over there. And then you can get in a little bit darker. Get in that water line again with some thicker pigment and define that area where the hull meets the water there a little bit more. And just let it blend. And I'm quite dark into this area here. Just seeing that in the photograph. And that's about it. There, so we're going to stand back and have a look at this thing, and we'll see what we can do next. So I think we'll work on these buildings at the back a little bit more here. Well, we're at it, and uh, you can just uh, darken some of these areas. And it's, you know, from looking at it, it's looking like it's starting to get just a little bit tight. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some windows in. Dark. Like that there. Just suggestions of them. The window glass like that. Drop in some more color there. And I'm being a little bit careful with it here. Probably too careful, but it's still got to be just a background as all this is. And I'm really tempted to wash over the whole thing. And down here needs to be darker. And this is, the door is kind of a 
white color, but just yeah, change that a little bit like that there. Maybe a little bit of a dark around the base of everything here like that. Just like I said, I was just getting a little, just getting a little bit too tight back there. And like that, and you can darken that up. A little bit here, and I got some ultramarine blue. I'm just gonna blend over that. Just some glaze over this area here. Ultramarine blue. And you can see where that's dry. I'm just gonna help that down a little bit like this here, across. I could look a little bit better. And yeah, we'll just get it some water. Give it some water. And we also, we gotta to tone this yellow down here. Give it some water. And I'm also gonna gray off this building here. I'm just gonna glaze over it also. Give it lots of water, just blend everything together back there. It's just getting too tight. And they're really dark under the wharf. Or under the dark areas here like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and help that out a little bit like that. Yeah, extra little detail lines in there. Like that there. No saturated, I added ultramarine blue, but we still got, you know, we've got a little bit of a different color. It's gonna grade off a little bit more. It'll cool off and I can add some more here. This is cobalt blue now. Just to give it some interest. This area is a little too predominant back there, so. I'll do that, getting into my salt. There, I like that a lot better. All right, so the last thing you're gonna do is kind of just work on your details, your lights and your darks, your little, you know, you'll start picking up different areas. Like there's some blue here on the boat. And just drop some blue right in there. Then you start seeing it in different spots. And it's not over here, but I'm just gonna put a little bit there anyway. And, uh, work on your detail. Now these window frames are way too bright. I, I purposely didn't paint them in uh, earlier because I wanted just to have a look at the, the tone and decide how much detail you really want in those uh, the window frames. Now the frames themselves are quite, uh, you know, dark. They're, they're a gray color. They're not really white. They, although your brain picks them up as white. So I'm gonna paint those in. And, and this, well, the other thing this is doing is pushing them back. I know I just kind of painted all the way around these windows here, but I just, I did, they were just too prominent in the scene. And so that's why I painted them all loosely in here. And I'll just paint some in there. Um, and the front door, the door here is white too. And this is actually still really wet. But as it dries, you can start just to drop in some more color and start and tighten up, just start tightening up different areas here. I still also have pigment pooling right here, so I don't want that to go into my water. Although there's a bit of a reflection there, there's way too much pigment there. I'm going to pick it up with a dry brush instead of that there. And I like that little highlight there, so do that and dry it off on your brush. I like that there. So it's nice that, you know, there's some problems that arose in this painting as I was painting it. And it just goes to show you that how to deal with these problems too. And you always have to paint with watercolor. And there's, there's you have to react to what it's doing and get the end result that you want.
and here I can see how dry that is and draw. So this is the time you're just painting your little details in as it tightens up. Like that and then you can put some more darks in and I've got some of that color into here too like the side of this is quite dark and there's these little louvers kind of thing and you can just give it an indication of those like that there and you finish your details. Now's the time you can be careful with these little details and drop in your shadows in here. There's another one there like that and there's little windows here in the top in these areas you can frame those in and that and you can even dry brush down you know there's some these are down here a little bit like that give it a little bit more more detail and get under here get your shadows going and you don't have to be perfectly literal with this either you can you don't have to fill in every single little little spot darker back here get dark that darken that and when you're done it actually looks really good at all these little things that you're doing here it makes it look like detail and your eye will make up uh, what you know you'll figure out what these things are little frame right there so then just keep going with this there's a little bit of contrast different I want here because it's, this is dark and there's also a dark area there and these are things you, this is when you start noticing them and you have a lot more time now to deal with these little details yeah go in like that and like that there just like that and remember at the end you can go in with some gouache if you'd like and and uh, put in some little highlights so just keep going with this and finish up all your little details if you get a chance to paint this thanks for all the to all the new followers I really appreciate it there's a new uh, um, thanks button at the bottom of the screen there right beside the share button if you care to leave a uh, donation to support the channel and leave a um, special thanks message and uh, have fun painting this and just keep working on it you can put your gouache white window frames in here if you like but I would caution you about that just keep it keep it pushed back it's about your it's about the blue nose here and I'm you know go ahead and get your white little white gouache I'd highlight some gouache there along the gunnel and do that and uh, that's about it this post here that's another thing darken it you know to change the color it's just too prominent you know with this white like that just go like that you can leave some little highlights in the engine but that's better there it was just too prominent before but keep working on it uh, have fun with it that's number one and uh, we will see you next time thank you for watching bye for now